Hello guys, welcome back to John HD Gaming. This is the second episode following the War Game Alan Battle tutorial. The name of the second tutorial is Reconnaissance Training. It is still held in Fort Lewis, Washington. And in this exercise, we will engage the Red Forces in a real combat situation. They will have a num some uh, T-62s, T-72As, and deployed to launch ambushes in Bravo, Alpha and Charlie, ABC sectors. And my force will have a rec unit backed up by some Abrams, not too many. As usual, we'll have a FOB. Alright, my objective is to destroy all CVs of the raid force in Bravo. Alright, ABCs. So let's launch a battle. Destroy all enemy units. This is a recon unit. Sure. Let's take a look at recon. It has exceptional optics, so that's very very good. But it has no armor, so it'll be taken in one shot. As usual, my strategy is to keep my recon in front. And move my Abrams um, behind it. Just behind it. Alright, so it looks like they are moving. I'm not sure why. I'm going to move my recon in front. Okay. I'm going to attack the T-72. Attack move. Forest offer great cover to hide units. And um, fortunately, my Abrams can spot these T-72 because they have good optics. And this guy over here has exceptional optics. Alright. I don't think he have any decent... I'm going to reverse this guy. Keep this guy alive. Yep, he don't have any decent AGMs and he's shaken. So that's a little unfortunate. Let's try and take up this BRDM to use before my recon is killed. Okay, we can get some resupply. And I'm going to do that. We might replenish some Abram. Alright, let's go in. One thing I've learned is that you can move the um, units you have brought in by clicking on them again and holding your mouse button down and move them to where you want your vehicle to be deployed to. Alright, so now we have to clear Charlie. We're going to move forward. I'm going to reverse my Abram. Keep them reverse. Reverse my recon. And I think I saw a CV moving backwards. So it looks like there are multiple CVs. Unfortunately, our recon is destroyed. I'm going to bring in an another one. Alright, my guys seem okay. So I'm going to move ahead. What I should have done, perhaps, is to go by the side, to move my recon by the side. Since I know that they'll be in this area. And I think there is, yep, there are a clump of trees over here. So, the, I should have expected the AI to place troops over here. Fortunately, we have taken out the uh, recon. And we are bringing up one of our own. I'm going to stop the Abram to reset the firing computer and opticals. And, optic, and the optics, sorry. So let's move forward. Get the weights in front. Alright, the, this time I'm going to move my recon this way. I'm going to shift click to create sort of a waypoint system for it to move. Alright, let's move the Hewitt over here. Get the Abrams refueled. I'm going to move this new Abram in front. I'm going to attack move. Alright, just in time. Some T-62s. Once my resupply vehicle is empty, I'm going to send it back to the FOB. I'm going to move fast back to the FOB, FOB and get more supplies. Alright, they are bringing in more BRDMs. So now my Abrams are going to take it out. Take them out. Alright, shift click. Move my recon from the side. 
Alright, now they are all taken up. I'm gonna attack move to the front. I'm gonna bring in another resupply vehicle. I'm gonna bring in some more Abrams. Yes, Alright, so now I spot some more tanks from the side. Wow, that's some nice hits from the T-72U. Sorry, T-72A. I'm gonna bring in another recon. Put them by the side. I'm not sure if I can regroup these guys. I think it's a maximum of 4. Okay, in any case, I'm gonna attack move. Right, these tanks should be destroyed and uh, I'm going in by brute force. I'm gonna try and place some Abrams over here because I think they are sneaking in this way. Alright, I'm gonna get them resupplied. Okay, that's destroyed as well. Abrams are very good for pushing as long as they are facing inferior tanks. If they are facing off tanks such as the T-64 series or the T-80 series, they will get pretty hammered. Alright, let's get this going as well. Alright, that's nice. A clean shot. Let's try and find the CV in, in Alpha, I think so it was over here. Alright, that's the CV. I'm gonna move to the center to get a better shot and a better view of the surrounding area. I think it is open space. Yep, so that will give us a pretty decent view. My earbrum over here. Looks like I'm gonna stop these guys over here. And they are trying to flank me. That is a little unfortunate because they cannot go right through the water so I'm not sure why they are moving straight towards me they should have gone by the side so I'm gonna move my resupply up get my recon in front I think there are some vehicles over here some T-72s alright let's move our Abrams in front followed by our recon Let's see their fuel. Pretty decent ammunition. I'm gonna go in a little forward. I think the T-72s have retreated back to Bravo. Let's bring in some more Abrams. I think a bit more points and we can bring in one more. Yep, we have 12 points in Delta so we are pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to stop these guys, move my recon into the clump of trees over there, and I'm going to go by the side. Move my resupply up. My Abram over here is basically recon, uh, escort, escorting my recon so as not to get it killed. It is very vulnerable because there is no armor at all. No side armor, no front, no back armor. Alright. My resupply vehicle is consumed. So let's move the next one up. I think we are pretty good on ammunition. Yeah, we are pretty good. So I'm going to make another push forward in the Bravo. And move my recon up as well. Let's take out the BRDM. Possible. In multiplayer games, I like to deny my opponent vision, and as a result, I tend to prefer taking out the recon very early in the game if I can. I think the recon has been moving around, so I'm gonna attack move. I'm gonna move my resupply inside. 
Alright, so now we are going by two sides. Continue to move my recon in front. Looks like my recon has been destroyed, so that's unfortunate. What's this over here? T-72s. And we're gonna go straight in from both sides. Fortunately, I have another recon. Looks like my recon has been destroyed as well. So I'm gonna use my aerom to look for the CV and destroy the CV. Nice shot by the T-72U. Sorry, T-72A. I keep calling it the T-72U because I keep thinking of the T-80Us, which are very good. All right, I'm gonna stop my resupply vehicle and resupply my aerums if necessary. Looks like it's not necessary. Go in again. I think their CV is hidden somewhere in the forest behind. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and move forward. I should be able to survive with 5 A rooms. Alright, that's taken as well. I really like the optics on the A rooms. Most of the Soviet tanks have terrible optics, which means that they need to be accompanied or babysitted so called by other units. Alright, so now we have spotted the CV. Right, that's a nice shot. And we have destroyed all enemy units. All the enemy command vehicles as well. Your performance has made the grade. You can progress to the next qualification. That's nice. Alright, so we have completed training too. And now we are moving on to the third tutorial. Infantry Urban Combat Training Exercise. Is a difficulty of 2 out of 10? Sure, let's give it a try. So, um, anyway. This has been a very fun tutorial, very informative, and um, it helped me with my micro. So that's about it for this tutorial. So I'll see you guys in the next episode for the next tutorial, which is titled Urban Combat Training. And as usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you guys.